All right. So the Georgian Tower Rush failed, but let's see what we can do with Georgian Scout and CA here. Favorite Civ bonus for one of in Arabia. Favorite Civ bonus is the Viking uh, economy. Free wheelbarrow, free handcart. But I don't like it because Vikings suck. But it's it's still a good, uh, still like one of the best bonuses in the game. Can you imagine if they gave that bonus to like? I don't know, let's just think of some really strong civilization. Like, let's say they give that bonus to Magyars. But what, what would happen? That would be insane. Why do Vikings suck? Well, they don't suck, but they have a lot of holes in the tech tree and stuff. Like, Vikings are only good because of that bonus, basically. But that bonus does make Vikings pretty, pretty decent. In their own rights. Mongo scout bonus, bro? That's okay, but I don't think it's that that good. I used to really like it, but nowadays I'm not that... I'm not rating it that highly. I think it's really good for team games, though. In team games, it matters a lot. The 1v1, not so much. Why do I keep going straight for the wood? I'm so like autopilot. You delay wood forever with this build, and you have to alert deer. I mean, there was a time where Vikings were considered like meta, like top 5 on Arabia. Not too long ago as well. But, yeah, they got kind of, like, changed slash nerfed. I mean, it's funny, because I, I think Vikings are still really good. The more I think of it, the more I think Vikings are actually just good. But maybe just other civs are better. And that's sometimes how life goes. How can I run AV2 in Mac M3 Pro? Sell the Mac, buy a PC for half the price, and play AV2. That is a step-by-step -step tutorial. Need the Mac for work? Damn it, man. That's the downside. Uh, I think there should be a way. You can try asking in discords or whatnot. Maybe you'll find something. Don't, I don't really think Microsoft intentionally overtuned civilizations before they released them. I don't know if I agree with that take, actually. I used to think so, but now I, I genuinely believe they try to release them balanced on release. And I, I think, if anything, they've been releasing civs a little underbalanced. A little, like, un un under... Yeah. Under the top. I mean, just think of Georgians and Armenians, right? They they were released at very fair power levels. Like, you cannot complain about Georgians and Armenians. Uh, absolutely not. Both civs were incredibly fair. In fact, I think they they got buffs, actually, after the uh, they were released, because their win rate was abysmal. So, I, I, yeah, I definitely don't think Microsoft are releasing things overpowered just to sell the DLC, which is honestly pretty respectable. I think it's a bad play. I think they should re release it strong, but and then nerf it. That model works for a reason, but uh, you know, I definitely do respect that they're not doing that. Yeah, but Manaspas were overtuned, but I think it was honestly by accident. I didn't think they they thought the civ would be that uh, the unit would be that strong. For example, when it first came out, I didn't really think the Manaspas were that good. Oh, yeah, I mean, the... Sorry, I forgot about the glitch. Yeah, but that glitch was not intentional. The the melting buildings glitch was definitely unintentional as well. A bit late to woods. Gonna be hard to afford it. That's why I like 18. I like 18 No Loom with Jordans a bit more. It's a bit easier to do. But still relatively fine. Yeah, Gujaras were OP upon release. That is true. But then again, Dravidians and Megalias were pretty horrendous, so again, can't can't really blame them for that. I just want to go scouts, few scouts into CA. I'm not gonna go too try hard with the scout micro. 
Just kind of chillax a bit. Gain the map control and that's it. Looks like he slabs. He might up something like 20 pop. Alright, we have to loom next though. He's gonna up at around 9.10 or 9.05. Oh no, he's up now. Okay, 19. I think I had out of time, that's why. Alright, if you scout, let me chill. Oh, the Bisha, what's up? And Aspa has way too much armor? But that's their identity, though. Their identity is to have a lot of armor and attack. Really proficient in melee combat. I think he's gonna attack me, so I gotta get a spear at home. I can fight this. I have Jordan Scouts, we heal up. Just don't wanna lose any. <laughs> okay, now we heal. God, that's OP. Economy is in shambles though. If I can get away with that, it's so OP. Yeah, spear, vill down, we run away, all the aisle time, and now we just heal it back. Holy moly. That's so good. The healing in Feudal Age is just like, it's so hard to play against. There's been just no counterplay to it. I get it heals slow, but still. Any healing, I think, is solid. That's a weird farm. Nice, good hit. Spearman! Let's go. I, I, honestly, they're healing kind of fast. They're already at 15 HP. They were at like literally 5 or less. And right, now we can save up for the CA switch. Now, George and CA also heal, so they're quite strong themselves. Nice. Nice walls here from Dennis. He's got a good map. He set it up well, too. Only one spear at home. The scout's on this side, though. He's not going to find anything. This is good for me. Yeah, I could go for... Mule cart on gold now. And the Town Center Tango finale? No idea. It, it could be today, but... The scheduling's been an absolute nightmare. We're in, like, seven different time zones at the moment. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen today. Spear can always move forward after you fall. We're playing Andy's team, I think, in the finals. Yeah, Andy's team. Andy Slam ACCM. Have a nice stream. I still back G. Thanks for the tier one for two months. Appreciate it, man. Have a nice day, bro. Hope you'll enjoy the stream. Let's make the blacksmith with the wood fill now. This is a really small optimization, but I'm not gonna use wood for the rest of the feudal age. So I might as well make the blacksmith with the wood fill. So I don't distract from food or gold, which is the resource that I need at the moment. 
I'm back to full HP five minutes later. God, that's OP, man. The healing in feudal age is... It's sick. It's, it's, it's nasty. I think we go like two range C. I, I don't want three ranges. That's a bit too much. I killed the bear just wanted to get him out of my face. I kind of hate animals in this game. I always kill them, even the camels and everything. It's just, I don't know, I'm a bad person. Only reason. Get bloodlines. Bloodlines makes me heal more as well. The cav healing bonus is one of the strongest bonuses in feudal age for cav. It's maybe one of the only bonuses in feudal for cav. Like Maggers, Franks, and this. I, I guess this one is maybe the strongest. It's hard to say. Maggar bonus is pretty good though. Humans 5% faster barely matters. I got bloodlines now, I can fight. No, it killed me. No! Oh, this is terrible. Oh my god, that was that was terrible. I lost three scouts for free. I had bloodlines. I didn't think it would go that bad. That was a really big disaster. Yeah, that's exactly what you should not do, by the way. Like, zero reason to do that. Oh god, I'm fighting. I don't care. I'll get a church somewhere. You know, monastery first. Church here sounds okay-ish. I think it's like, do I really want to boost my farms? Not really. I want to boost golden wood. Yeah, I'll wait on the first church. I like to move out with 4 CA. God, I was not hitting this house. It was almost risky. One fill out repairs for light gap. That is very fair. What was that noise? Sorry, that was just the background. Okay, that's that that's a really good church. It doesn't look like it, but that's a very good church. Jumped in the TC last second.
have so much wood. I gotta spend some of that. Mule cart economy plus the church is insane, by the way. Heal nicely here. Monk can go pick up some relics. I'm healing somewhat fast. It's hard to see though. Mm, not that fast. Jordan CA feels like a 7 out of 10. Feels okay. You get thumb ring as well? No, no thumb ring. Okay. That's pretty bad. I guess it's still okay. You get everything else. Oh, no, you also miss the other armor. But you get part of the tactics. Okay, that's probably still reasonable. That's a lot of scorpion. Wow. Guess I have to switch to uh, light cab here. It's a nice cleanup. Oh man. You gotta close the door, bro. That's a good trade. A lot of things are not going so well here. 
Dude, the sound in the background is pissing me off. Dude, it's also lagging right now in this game. It's incredibly hard to play, but I have to commute every two seconds. I might just play this game off sound. Not this stop. Boat sounds eight late AF. I love boats. I'm gonna try going Sun Towers. All in Castle Lich, Sun Towers. Sounds pretty dope. Losing a lot. I wonder if he has that and that's Those are some nice towers. All right, Svan is coming in. This should shoot bullets now. No, don't call GG. I'm just getting started. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, well, GG. Dude, they were shooting bullets at the end. That was actually kind of dope. They seem really good. They get extra two attack. What does the bullet do? It just is plus two attack. Svan, Svan towers sound really good.
I've dealt with him before in a fun on a fun match. Yo, Paul Flying Wheel, thanks for the tier one for 33 months. Appreciate it, man. Glad you enjoyed the boat noises. Doesn't do passive damage. Oh, it's like a scorpion. That's actually kind of nice. So extra damage and pass through. These towers are going to wreak havoc. I, I should have made them a little bit further forward. to hit some farms as well. Maybe the gold. But yeah, I just take away wood here. Take away all the wood here. And all the farm space. And then he'd just be kind of screwed. Yeah, he's got the castles in my face. But honestly, with this defensive castle, I secured a stone. And I secured a gold. And the rest of my base is very heavily fortified. As is 3DC, fortified church. A lot of my production. Very hard to raid back here. So it, I felt rather safe at home about everything. All right, that's a pretty good strat down.